Oh my god. <laughs> I think at this point it's already illegal. This is amazing. I'm going to be contacting 200 companies in an attempt to get free stuff. Why would I even bother to waste my time? Or to put it simply, I am sick and tired of seeing these pathetic YouTubers and celebrities get anything they want for free without ever having to pay a penny. Now I currently have no income thanks to this UK lockdown, so I think it's time that I made a stand against this injustice and I'm going to be unleashing my inner scavenger and I'm just going to beg for, for anything free. I just really love free stuff. So here's the plan. Firstly, I have to track down 200 companies that would even consider giving a beggar like me anything for free. Next, I have to split the 200 companies into eight groups of 25. Each group will receive a different kind of letter. I'll get into that later. Then I have to split the groups into two, where half the companies get letters and the other half get emails. The final step is to take action and make contact with those companies and reap in those rewards that they are going to give me. The plan sounded pretty easy, but little did I know the sheer amount of hurdles that I was going to have to face. Unfortunately, when I was recording this bit, I was just looking far too attractive. My jawline was looking far too sharp and my 12 pack was clear as day, so the SD card unfortunately corrupted itself. I think you just have to bear without my face for a bit. I'm just going to start off by googling biggest companies and just work my way down from there. I feel like Samsung might nice us. I feel like Apple will be a bit stingy. I'll add a couple car companies in there just to see what they're like. Might get a hat maybe, you know? During this quarantine, we need food, we need drink. So maybe we can get some free stuff. Back when I was younger, I sent a letter to Innocent and they gave me a bunch of vouchers. So I've got high hopes for them. Lewis and Button. I kind of want to send letters to a few celebrities. I feel like they might give something back. Let me call up a couple mates. I'll see what, what companies they want me to do. Hello, Anton. If I can get you anything for free from any company, what company would you want? For free? How could you get things for free, though? Ooh, you don't ask questions, you just give answers. Well, what, what company would you want to get things for free from? Well, so far I've got 50 different companies. I'll find a few movie companies, see if I can get you a yeah, couple that's, posters. That's what I was thinking. I was thinking it's like film studios. Loads of people put their clothing brands on TikTok. If I can just reach out to them, I feel like they'll definitely give me freebies. After many hours of gruelling, tiresome research, I had finally landed on the original 200 companies I was going to contact, which meant it was time for phase two. Now I've already established that I'm grouping the companies into eight sections to send different letters to, but I haven't said what these letters are. To work out how to get the best response from a company, I've made eight different types of letters, including flexing my TikTok clout off or one viral video, saying I'm a big fan of the company, blatantly asking for free stuff, saying I have a child who is a big fan, directly inspired by that Beast Quest story, suggesting ideas to the company, complaining, straight up just tell them about this video, and finally, say that I need free stuff for a short film. I assigned all of the companies randomly using a number generator, however this didn't go in my favour too well. <laughs> I need a Toyota car for a short film. I've got to use my TikTok clout to try and get free stuff from Oral-B. Why? Why? Why would Oral-B want to share their teeth whitening kit with the fucking TikTok guy? Who doesn't even have TikTok followers? Why? I don't even have TikTok clout. I continued to sort out all the numbers and then I put them in a lovely little table. But here's where my plan started to fall through. The very first store that I've got, Atlantic 908, nice looking company, it doesn't have anywhere to contact them. So, they've missed out. We gotta switch that one out now. The next one might be quite hard to find as well. Where do we find Wii Sports? The official Wii Sports, not any counterfeits. Where to contact Wii Sports? Uh, oh, uh, right. Mm. Luckily, all I had to do to replace these problem brands was look around my kitchen, take a few of those food companies and pop them into my table. And this was the finished set of companies. Feel free to pause if you're a big nerd. And here on out, there was no more problems. I did come across an issue, you know, just a very, very big issue. It was massive. I opened up the Apple website uh, to see where their address was. I saw this temporarily closed. And then something clicked in with me. I'm not going to be able to send out any of the letters, any of them, because 
Chances are probably every single office is closed because of coronavirus. No, really, yeah. Cheers, guys. Starting off a virus just to ruin my video. Thanks. All right, cool. Your grandparents dead. Don't care. My video's ruined. I don't even care about the sheer amount of divorces that are going to happen because of coronavirus. I just care that I can't send out my fucking letters. But I digress. Because what I've realised I can do is I can now do two videos. One now and one after corona. Um, and I can just get more money of views. Just in case I say something very, very suspicious and they want to look into it, uh, I'm going to make a brand new email so that way they can't chase it back to me. And then it will also be easier to like sort these from all the uh, DMs I get from girls. Create your Google account. Fred Rost. I think Fred Rost is the perfect name because let's rearrange all the letters around and oh look, I'm a fraudster. Uh, give me all your supply. You've just got scammed because that, that do be me. I had a look and I think only two people in the world have the name Rost. So I'm going to make it Ruster. See, Fred Ruster's already taken. I'm blending in with the card. I'm a little bit of a Joe. I began to send out every single email based on a few templates I made which sound like this. Hi there, I came across your I'm company I'm a film recently. student company. I'm a big fan of your company. I'm a big fan of your company. I want to stay with your company. I'm writing them to you as a way to express my gratitude for your company. Why do you never see hippos hiding in trees? Because they're very good at it. I sincerely hope you laughed. When I used those templates, this was typically how the ending result sounded. If you have any fan exclusive items, such as a rare sticker, I would be over the moon to be in possession of them to further show my appreciation of you. Thank you for your services. Fuddy. And finally, what you have all been waiting for, the responses. We've got loads of these where they're just saying, yeah, we'll reply to you in a bit. Oh, no, this is a real one. Thank you for reaching out. Uh, please know that we do stand by the quality of our products. Um, cool. Please let us know if you have any further questions. Can you have a sticker? Love you. We are excited to hear that you are interested in collaborating with us. Collaboration partnerships are handled through NAS corporate teams. Oh, they're unable to, pro to provide contact information. I'm going to find it out. 12 seconds later. Can't find it, I give up. I'm really upset. The hungry caterpillar email was a lie. It's not a thing anymore. I wanted to get a nice hungry caterpillar of my own. Oh, this is actually cool. So I emailed Sneak Energy. Thank you for getting in touch. I've forwarded your email over to the team who will be in touch if interested. Steph, you're a big man. You're a legend. <laughs> if they don't give me anything, I'm censoring that immediately. Polaroid. We do not have any free items to send out right now. Cool. So this company, Drop, has said that I can apply to campaign. I don't, I don't know what I'm applying for. Let's do it. I sold my soul away, which I don't even think I got anything for. But then the worst message came through. I have met the rudest person in my entire life. I sent the nicest email to a Bixie online and she replied, Hi Freddy. No, full stop. Disgusting. We've got another email from Bolt. They don't have anything. This is going down the gutter. I am so upset. We'll see how everything goes tomorrow. With an overwhelmingly negative response, including a straight up no from a TikTok account, nothing good was looking likely. But that was all about to change. Something very big has just come right here. It's for an upcoming project. It was one of my film emails. I don't know which one. It's just from a woman named Holly. Thank you so much for reaching out. Wow, sounds like a very fun task you have there. Smiley face. Of course, we'd like to be able to try and help. Do you have any... Do I have any what? Do I have any chickies on the line? Do I have any more information? I, I'm really nervous for this because I feel like I've scammed them. Oh my God. <laughs> this is amazing. I sent a letter to this company Cubes, who's like Rubik's Cubes, saying that I'm making a film about an underdog story of a child raised in a particularly rough area, going against all hatred pushed upon him to teach himself maths and physics, eventually figuring out how to solve the town's water supply problem. <laughs> oh, I'm so, it's the worst story anyone could make. Throughout this film, I'd present his hobbies, the main one being his obsession with puzzle cubes. Please send me something. Hello, Freddy. Thank you so much for reaching out. Wow, sounds like a fun task there. Of course, we'd love to be able to try and help. Do you have any links to send me to find out more information? That would be brilliant. This, I think out of all of the stories, this is the, the, the most absurd one. This is mental. Hello. Hello. 
I told my legal advisor Anton all about the situation as I needed to hear his view on it. This is the one where you said you make a short film about like an autistic kid who's trying to save the town's water supply. Right, I didn't necessarily say he was autistic, I think he's just a bright kid, but yeah. If I want free stuff, do I legally have to make this film, do you think? Um, I don't think you should lie to them about making a film. You are going to have to help me write a film. No, no, see the thing is, uh, when they ask who it's produced by... Um, well, my name on this email is Fred Ruster. Oh my god, you used the fake email as well. Why do you even think of using a... I think at this point it's already illegal. Cool, well thank you very much. Um, I just needed the legal advice and you said it's not good to lie, so thank you. Yeah, don't lie at all. It's not good to lie generally. I, that is true. Guys, I hope you're looking forward to the brand new series of We're Gonna Make a Film. I've waited about a week to open the last set of emails. There has been nothing. This, why has nobody responded? People don't care about me. There were so many emails where it said that they were gonna get back to me, but they never did. Maybe it's because of Corona. Maybe it's because they didn't care about me. We're gonna find out today though about the ones that did get back. Also, you see how I got this double camera angle high budget maneuvers now. Yes, you do. Okay, we'll start off Crocs. Crocs is the website I just want anything from. Thank you for contacting Crocs. I'm very sorry, but unfortunately, we don't have any stickers or merchandise, that's okay. That's okay. Just editing a hole in the wall there. Puma. As you can imagine, we receive a lot of offers from corporation services. We unfortunately have to tell you we can't cooperate at the moment. To be fair, do I even want anything else from the films after what happened with the last one? Waitrose didn't want to introduce my clothing range idea, but as a thank you, they've entered us into a monthly price draw. Yeah! Fred Ruster's gonna win some f***ing overpriced cheese! The company Fossil said they forwarded my email and then they never got back to me, so schmucks. Uh, we've got U2's here which said fuck social media game. <laughs> oh no wait, I accidentally said that to them. Thanks for the email, we don't have any freebies to give away right now, I don't blame them, I did swear at them. But we're intrigued to see the video. Hi you twos, how you doing? I hope you're watching right now, I've probably sent this to you that means. Make sure to send it our way when it's done and maybe we can take part in the sequel. Uh, maybe you could take part in it now, or you can just slide me over something, you know, you saw how pathetic this video went. It's such a great video and nobody sent me anything, so you can just slide a little you twos our way, or you can make one off me. Yeah, I'm a big, big YouTuber. 900 subscribers, you can make a model off me. Muller declined a great advertising opportunity with me. That's their loss. And yeah, everything else is pretty much just bots or they've aired me. I didn't end up sending any of the fourth letter, which was me pretending to have a child, just cause I got shy. <laughs> when lockdown's all over, I will definitely send out all the letters I missed. So look out for that soon, cause that I will get stuff back 100%, million, trillion percent. Oh wait, actually no, I do have a few more responses in my personal email, let's just quickly have a look. I sent Bandai Namco over that joke and they responded, Hello James, I'm getting back to you regarding the good trade you spoke of. To be honest, you made us laugh a little. A little. Nice little backhanded compliment there, saying I'm only a little bit funny. So here is one of our own. How does a penguin build its house? It glues it together. Ah! <laughs> Mine was funnier. Don't come at me saying I'm only a little bit funny when you produce that shit. Anyway, carry on. We have agreed to give you this five euro discount code as a trade for your joke. Banging. That is, oh, let's see what they've got. Let's see what I can get from that. Oh shit, they've got like a proper sale on right now as well. So I can get this game Little Nightmares, which is usually 25 quid for only one pound. I think that's the best thing I've gotten. But realistically, that's all I've got on back. I know um, Zaffle gave me a 10% discount code if you want to use that. Feel free, it's a shit website, so. <laughs> that was an absolute flop, that whole video. Um, the only thing I got out of it is now I have to make a film. So, yeah. Alright, see you next week.